Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So we just watched the um, PlayStation State of Play stuff. Um, so there's a few things I want to talk about. Nothing too long, so this probably won't be a super long video. Um, but the thing was, guys, I was expecting a lot less, to be honest. Um, I didn't realize they did have some um, games coming out. Not anything big. Nothing like GTA 6 that people wanted. I already knew that wasn't going to be a possibility because uh, PlayStation doesn't have a control over who, what the studios do, especially someone like Rockstar. So, um, yeah, I knew that was not likely. Um, Bloodborne, yeah, I knew that wouldn't be in there because I have, I, I, heard, I, I know people wanted it and demanded it, but not, they didn't get it. Here's the thing, guys. You're not always going to get what you want. It's just how it is. Um, also, guys, we've got to do one thing before I continue doing this. All right, never mind, guys. I'll sh sorry, one of my controls is um not working properly. Anyway, um, yeah. So other than that, um, did I think it was a good um game show? I would give it about a three and a half. It's, it wasn't the best. So I'm gonna explain why it wasn't the best. Um, there was a lot of there was a few good RPGs or some older ones like and remastered so like the um I think it was Luna, I think that's what it's called. If I get it wrong, forgive me. I'm not good at remembering names and shit. Um, that was one of the games. There's um Dragon, the new Dragon Age game that looked really good. I can't remember if it was a remaster or anything because I'm not watching the video before I made this video. I probably should have actually just to double check on everything. Um, there was a few VR. Videos, I would not do not care about fear at all, so I didn't even bother with them. I basically just went out, got a drink, and came back. That's how boring that party is to me. So yeah, I pretty much removed them. I don't. He's, he's, listen, guys, the reason I don't like fear, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't really have the room to use it. I got next to no room at all. At how it is, um, the situation is kind of shitty with everything's going on, guys. Especially finances is all over the place. So um, I don't really want to make a video on that today or not on this not about not on this video in a way i might make a video in the, and maybe i'll make a video later today guys and upload it in the next few days and explain what's going on and all that kind of stuff but yeah this is about playstation now i do disagree with the notion of people saying to me oh playstation has no games no playstation does have good does have games and a good games is another story that's up to you guys. It depends on what type of games you like. But I like RPG, so they had a few good ones. They had some horror ones. I don't like horror, so I think they're shit. Automatically in the shit category. Actually, I shouldn't put them in the shit category. I should put them in the um, basically in, I don't give a shit category. Is probably the better of a term because I don't care. Uh, RPG ones, yeah, there was a few of them. I run that. Was there really anything there? I think was material like, 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 big, huge. It's, you know, explosive. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm gonna actually have a double check. Uh, also, guys, so us. It's nice to see they got power coming on for the PlayStation Four, Five. Sorry, I don't know why I said Four. Four's weird. Um, PlayStation Five and Five Pro. Um, that's good news, I guess. It's. I think it's long overdue. I personally think it should have came out at the same time it came out for the Xbox. Because Xbox had that game pretty much straight away um, on the Game Pass and all that, which I know because I bought it on the Game Pass. Actually, I didn't buy it. I got it on Game Pass, guys. So how I do things when it comes to um, digital store stores, for example, if it's a um, Game Pass, for example, or I think PlayStation has a, something very similar. Uh, I'm not sure exactly with PlayStation because I haven't been in that ecosystem that much because I don't have a PlayStation. And I tend to get Xboxes more than I get Playstations because it's more where I've got all my games and all that stuff in. I'm saying that I do want to get a Playstation 5. I probably do want to get a Pro at some point, but I'll be much later down the track. Um, new, on other things, I do have a Playstation 1 and a 2. I don't have a 3. I don't have a 4. Not yet I don't have a 4. I rephrase that, guys. So, yeah, that's what's going on there. Um, other than that, yeah. I, I mean, like I said, PlayStation's been having its um hits and misses. I don't know if you noticed about that, guys. It's been having a few misses lately. Um, so like like a Pro, for example, the Pro is so overpriced. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's worth it in any shape, way, or form. Hopefully, the price will go down over time. Once if it gets to for Australia where I live, 
Um, it's like twelve hundred dollars, and it's completely overpriced. But but if you can get to about a thousand dollars in Australia, I'll probably consider it. Saying that, there's like an Xbox for about the same price, a thousand dollars, but it's only a bigger hard drive. For me, is that worth it? No, it's not worth it at all. It's just a bigger hard drive. Who gives a damn? All you need, guys, is a decent speed SSD, um, external hard drive, connect to your Xbox or PlayStation, and just move things around as you need it. Um, secondly, I don't know what, yeah. But other than that, yeah, I think they had a few good games, guys. It didn't have games that everyone demanded, that's probably what's killing it. I mean, a lot of people are complaining about that. I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, trying new games, trying new things, that's what. We should be doing. I mean, we shouldn't be focusing on the same games. And I, I like the idea there wasn't so many remasters. So I don't like re games that are remastered all the freaking time. For example, I think there was only one done there that's being remastered from the PlayStation 4. I don't like remastered games like that, guys. Because it's basically lazy development. And it's lazy because they're just too lazy to make a new IP or expand on a current IP or something like that. It just makes it. It makes it feel like a um, cash grab. I don't like it. I mean, it's okay. For example, um, I think they've done a they done a remastered version for like um, Secret of Mana for a while back. That was a that was a decent um, upgrade from the previous version because it was the um, the original Super Nintendo, which is long. Well, ages ago now, quite God knows, it is pretty long time. But anyway, I'm gonna be sidetracked. Um, Commander Conquer remastered remastered collection. That was an upgrade. You know, things like that are a bit of aged into them, a bit of, you know, a bit of age, yeah. Age is probably the best way to say it. But anything that's like, yeah, a bit old, not not like a PlayStation 3 or 4. I mean, any game that's in that area, that I don't think it needs a remastered. I mean, you can do that further down the track and probably, yeah, in a few more years. But also got to remember, guys, consoles' length of time, how long they're out for, is much longer than they used to be. I also got to take account of that. So, if I'm going to put a time between uh, remasters, I'll say about ten, years, five, ten years, something like that. So, I'm, I'm a bit nitpicking here, guys, but you get the idea where I'm trying to come from. So, yeah, guys, I think that's going to be enough for this. I mean, like I said, do I think it was a good um thing? Uh, better play? Not really. I don't think it was great. As I said, I'm going to give it about three and a half. Now, three and a half being generous. I know a lot of people are giving it like ones and twos, and they think it was an L. I don't think it's as bad as they, they say it is because they're, they're all just looking for a game, guys. So they're being a bit more biased type of stuff. I'm not so, I'm not like that. I try to look at it a bit more positively with other games and shit like that. Um, But yeah, I think it was a, yeah, three and a half. If they had more, like maybe, I don't know, a bit more what people wanted, maybe it would have been rounded up. Probably would have been close to a five or six. But it is what it is, guys. Um. So I'll stop there with the um my thoughts of it, but I do want to talk about something before we finish up because it's better off talking about it now instead of making another video. So I don't know if you guys know, but the Tokyo Game Show is right around the corner. All right, so I'm just checking with the date, the date, the dates, of guys. Now I believe it starts on the first day. So because it's in Tokyo, which is in in um the oh obviously in Japan, which is much closer to my time 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 zone. I should be able to cover it a bit more easily. Not, not like it's in Germany or Germany's not too bad actually. I take it back. Germany isn't too bad. Could have got a bit up earlier, but um, at least it's not like in the US, guys, or Canada or any of those places because that means while they're doing their fans, I'll be in bed, and I am not changing my sleep schedule that dramatically. I'm kind of. So at least this way it's gonna be good guys. So I don't know who's gonna be going. I know I saw UBL in it, I think. Let me check. Let me change the scene for a second. There we go, guys. There's the scene. They're ready to get going. Um, so this is the TGS official timeline. Uh, let me pick my camera up. There we go. So guys, one of my cameras needs to fix it. So um September the twenty-sixth, which is tomorrow morning. Um it's about ten o'clock, so ooh. It's going to be hard to do, guys, because I do have streams and shit during the day as well. So the question is, what am I going to do? Am I going to concentrate on this or concentrate on my streams? Now, my streams don't really change much. So I think I'll probably concentrate on this because majority of this stuff is going to be done in the morning anyway. So let's just look at the days, guys. So they've got four days. Um, They don't look like they're going to be super busy. 
there is a different game. So I'm not going to be worrying about the official programs too much. I'm going to be focusing on the game show showcases and maybe some gameplay stuff. So things like maybe that one. Um, let's see what else is there. Um, Ubisoft. Maybe that one. That one. That one. Microsoft. I should know. I've got Microsoft doing it tomorrow. We're all late too. Shit. Shit. Okay. A lot of the stuff is getting done at night. What is it with companies doing things at night time? All right, as you can see, guys, majority of stuff's done in the first two days. Actually, pretty much all of them done in the first two days. We're going to have Square Enix, um, Tenko Games, Level 5, Infinity. That depends if it's worth it. I'll probably do all these ones. These ones, definitely. So these are going to be, um, okay, they're not going to be long because they're only an hour. It looks like about an hour apart. So, yeah, I don't know how we're going to do that, but yeah. Uh, i got Microsoft, which is like going to be a long one. No, maybe not an hour. I don't get it. It says an hour, guys, but I'm pretty sure he's going to go longer than an hour. I think it's just, um, they probably just got him in and they're probably doing him, um, what we call procedurally. So even though this might be, say, this goes for an hour and a half, it won't affect that because that's probably going to be another area or it's going to be an online thing. I don't want to affect it too much, but yeah, there's a lot here, guys. So we've got that, that, um, uh, maybe these ones. And that's about it, really. And some day that one, maybe that one, depending on what it is. That one, and that's about it, I think. Yeah, and that one. Yeah. It's probably about five or six or some shit like that. So, yeah. Let's go throughout the date, guys. So, it's going to be starting from here all the way down. So, that is going to be the TGS um, timeline, guys, which stands for the Tokyo Game Show. So, I just want to make sure everyone knows. And that's it, guys. I'm going to finish up here because I'm getting excited about it. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to stream. I don't know if I'll be able to make the videos consistently like that. Mac, luckily for, for me, guys, I won't be able to do much of them because I'll have to do them the next day. I'm not too sure if I'll stream them because I won't, I'll be seeing every pre-recorded. So I might stream them and just get my live reactions, but I don't know yet. Anyway, we're done here with the PlayStation stuff, guys. I just want to put this out there too because it's coming up very quickly and very soon. I thought it would be a good idea to talk about it. Um, just give me a second, guys. My camera is being a bitch. Now, what happens, guys, is my camera plays up when it's changing scene. There we go. You can see my pretty face. Oh, yeah, guys. That's about it. Um, so, excited for the game show. The PlayStation thing, like I said, it was a three out of three and a half out of ten. I could have done better, personally, but we'll see what happens. The thing that really killed me for it, Whilst the bloody um, PlayStation Pro thing at the very end. So they're talking about the PlayStation Pro when they already made an offense about it. So I don't know what the point of that was. I think you're just wasting time personally, but it is what it is, guys. All right. Let me know, guys, what you guys think of the presentation and what you like or dislike, what you hate. And let me know what you guys think of the video. Cheers.